discerning shooters here for blue collar prepping. In the past few weeks, I've talked about you know becoming better acquainted with your community, schmoozing with the community, you know, and the gains that you get from that for very little, if no actual out loss of financial costs, but maybe a little bit of sweat equity. Of course, I'm um, next to one of my most favorite gains through that is you know my chicken coop and my beautiful ladies that produce eggs for me. However, there's one other way that you could do that that I haven't talked about. And it's not neighborhood watch groups or it's not you know, volunteering for the Boy Scouts, but it's similar. It's volunteering for your local community emergency, excuse me, community emergency response team, or as we also have in Michigan, besides CERT teams, are your voluntary defense um, forces. A couple of good things about these is, is that if you pass the background check and if you get into one of these teams is that there is all kinds of free gear and training that comes through FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, for all people that are involved. It's training, it's the same training that all law enforcement and all these other people get that work for the government that will do these emergency response things, but you get them as a civilian and it's paid for. And the same is true in a similar fashion with the voluntary defense forces. They work more closely with the National Guard However, the opportunities are there, and it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't really matter a lot in what kind of physical shape you're in. They will find a job for you that fits your, fits your abilities. So, the ultimate you know, gain here in uh, schmoozing your community, building better and stronger communities, getting some gear and getting some fabulous training on the taxpayer dime instead of actually putting money out of your own pocket. And a lot of the CERT things are actually also funded by grants as well as donations. So they really aren't taking any taxpayer dollars either. So think about it, schmooze your community. This is the end of the post today for the Forgetful Frugal Friday. Be good, be safe, and if you can't be safe, be good and dangerous.